All right, everyone, my standard greeting. Hello, Pat, ae 5 and w here. Well, what you're looking at now is the finished, essentially finished, except for maybe putting some stickers on it to let people know what it is, fox box for our upcoming fox hunt. A uh, little 7 amper hour uh, brick battery. Uh, some little power pole connectors here. Uh, there's a uh, Heath HT down in the box. I bought that at the Mina Ham Fest here three years ago for seven dollars and it's been seven dollars well spent. Down inside the little lock and lock box Tupperware type container, if you've already seen the pictures, is the Arduino controller. I'm actually not going to open that up right now. Uh, here is a switch that drives uh, one of the input pins on the Arduino either high or low. If it's low it does not play found tones. If the pin gets driven high it will play an alternate set of tones, which if you saw the other video, you already know how that goes. But essentially, I'm going to go ahead and just plug it in here. And within 10 seconds, we should start hearing it on 147.52 here. Alright, now what this little switch does is engage, if the first person to find the fox can flip that and there will be a second set of tones played after the first. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one repurposed uh, spare ammo can, one $7 HT, one uh, $29 Arduino board, and a brick battery that I had lying around. Uh, incredibly MacGyvered, but you know what? It works very well, and I've already driven all around town uh, listening to this thing tonight. And right now, it's been transmitting on low power, uh, which is 400 milliwatts. So just a little less than a half watt through a rubber duck. Uh, and it's amazing how well you can hear it and how far you can hear it around town. Uh, this will make a fun uh, little fox hunt box. So anyway, there you go.